and we have this one. Yeah! Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kuroki here with the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. Who doesn't like Charizard? Charizard's the best, am I right everybody? You can't go wrong with Charizard when it comes to Pokemon TCG. But no, all that, all the shilling aside, I like Charizard. He's not my favorite. Don't understand, well I can kind of understand why everybody, why so many people love him. But, you know, he's a little, he's a little too overhyped in my opinion. There's nothing special in my eyes, is all it is. But, yeah. Still doesn't mean I'm not gonna enjoy what he is, what I, uh, what I have of him. I, I still get him in the games, I still use him, you know? So, yeah. Let's get to opening this one. But before we go, we crack into it, today's collection is a more recent card. But I I don't recall ever opening this in the channel, like pulling it. I mean, so today's collection showcase is Charizard EX from Obsidian Flames, with artwork by Akira Egawa. I have two of these. This was so easy for me to pull. There's some people I know, friends included, that struggle that have struggled to pull this, but I've pulled them so easy. Whereas everybody else pulls the full arts like nothing, and I have yet to find a full art for myself. So I guess it, that's the payoff right there. But yeah, that's, I, I do like the Terra artwork for this and the little glittering patterns of the hollow for it. It's very nice. It's a nice artwork. It's a nice card. Pretty used up right now in the card games, like everybody's using them. But yeah, that's it. That's today's collection. So we're gonna go up and open this with the scissors again. Alright, we got the plastic off. Now to get this little thing off right here. Lay this down right there for a second. Showcase all the contents that come in this box. It looks to be like 12 packs. Nope, 16 packs, just like the Mew one that we did. The three promos, also like the Mew one, but these are all Charizard ones, and I don't think there's a metal one here. In fact, I think it says it right there that it's not metal. However, the contents otherwise are all made of metal. Let's go. This one opens up. Just like the Mew one, but different. From above? Yep. From above, and you slide it up. Oh wait, no, that's the mat. And then now we slide them out. It's three little, seems to be like deck holder things here. You put all your, all your stuff in it. I think I got a really cool idea now for, in the last video, I complained about how I'm running out of space for things, like I need a cork board and all that stuff, I think I found the storage for them. Very nice. Here's the sleeves. The metal condition markers, actual metal, and the metal die. Very nice, very cool. Is this meant? No, this is acrylic. This is the only thing that's normal here. Oh, I wouldn't say normal. I'll just say, I'd rather just say standard. It's the standard, typical thing you always get. See? The scissor makes so, so much thing. Makes everything so much better. I'm trying to say like 
five different phrases at once. And yes, I'm opening these. They are going straight to my binder. Anybody caring about like the collectors kind of thing where, oh, you should have just held on to them. They're, they'll be much more valuable in the package. Nah, I don't care about that. I just care about having them in collection. Here you have it. Charizard sleeping under a tree. After burning the whole, the whole place. Look at that. And you got the VMAX looking very fierce. He was, in fact, very fierce in his Gigantamax form through Sword and Shield, from what I heard. I didn't really participate in battles back during that time. And then we have the V-Star, fighting, battling Mewtwo. That's Mewtwo right there. Very cool artworks, I love these. They're going straight into the binder. Oh, and the main coin thought it could hide from me. We got the heads and tails coin here with featuring Charizard in gold etched metal. Yeah. So let's put these inside for now and close up the box. Oh, do they have their own little pockets inside there? Seems so. Oh no, there's a there's a play guide in here. There we go. Here we go. It's a neat little thing showcasing all the packs that come in here. This is a standard for a non-standard. Let's go ahead and slide it back into its little pocket. The background changed. Did you guys see that? I didn't notice it while I was opening the box. No, I'm not making it up. You guys are. Anyways. So, let me sort these in the order I want to open them in. And I'll see you afterwards. And alright, I'll be opening them up in this order. We have one vivid voltage and a darkness ablaze. You got three fusion strikes, three brilliant stars, three astral radiance, two lost origins, and three evolving skies. In that order. Let's have at it. Starting off with vivid voltage. Usually when we only have one pack, I don't have high hopes for the pulls, because after all, it's just one pack. So we got the code card, especially that with the white border. Let me lower this down because we're now out past the showcase. We got four to the front. Fire Energy. We got Telescopic Sight. Mightyena. Stunfisk, Clobopus, Electric, Execute, Eevee, Woobat, Reverse Heroes Metal, and Lycanroc. Yep, I did not expect much, therefore we didn't get much. Darkness Ablaze. The one where Rose came out in. I despise Chairman Rose. He's not a cool villain, no matter how cool he thinks he is. Four to the front. Psychic. Fighting. So we got Flaffy with the nice artwork. Furret. Rare Fossil. Cub Chew. Aaron. Starly, Purloin, Mariani, Mariani, Reverse Cub Chew, and Surfetched. 
I don't understand. This was a black bordered code card. There was nothing in it. Chairman Rose. It's because I spoke bad about you, isn't it? Let's open up the Bolton pack from Fusion Strike first. See what we get. Code card. Four to the front. Suede energy guess. Dark energy. It's water. So you got Darmanitan. Slegu. Clawitzer. Trubbish. Totodile. Phantom. Snorlax. Snom. Reverse Indeedee. And Latias. Fusion Strike. Cute artwork. Gengar pack. Shall we go on? Let us see what we get. This is where that really nice Gengar is from, right? If so, I have no hopes of pulling it because of these white borders. Metal. So we got Graplocked, Diggersby, Sydney, Shinx, Shelmet, Drillber, Bunnelby, Mudkip, and Grubbin. Looking crocheted. I like the crocheted ones. And then we got Scorch. Last Fusion Strike with... What's his name again? Genesec. We go with, yep, no hope here. This is starting to uh, be depressing. Psychic. We got it. So we got Spongy Gloves, Corvus Squire, Sand Slash, Dreepy, Makuhita, Rookie D, Darumaka, Sizzlipede, Reverse Corvus Squire, and Hollow Dragapult. At least we got a regular hollow out of it. Alright, moving on to Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars has not treated me nicely. Let's see if, it, if today's a different day for that. We got the code card backwards like the first one. And whiteboarded. There is no hope here. However, there might be. Because the last one was a black border, and we got nothing in it. So, we got Fighting Energy, Chinchino, or Sinchino, I'm not too sure anymore. Team Yells Cheer, Probo Pass, Execute, Trap Pinch, Gibble, Electabuzz, Shinx, Electivire Reverse. One of my favorite Pokemon of... My favorite Pokemon of all time. The number one. And then we got... Magmortar right behind Electivire. How neat is that? But we didn't pull anything cool there. Brilliant Stars number two. I'm preferring now the 151 box because... That one gave us pulls because they were all the same packs. This is all a bunch of packs put together. Pachirisu, Sharon's Care, Cynthia's Ambition, Riolu, Trap Pinch, Gibble, Buizel, Halucha, Turtwig Reverse, and Garchomp. Hollow. Alright. And last Brilliant Stars. Here we go. Oh, please stop giving me the white borders. <coughs> Here's a code card and it is a white border. Four to the front. Dark 
psychic. You got cleansing gloves, Sinchino, Primplup, Carablast, Starly, Riolu, Staryu, Impidimp. The artwork gives me Paper Mario vibes. I don't know why. Reverse Leopard, Leopard, and Mewtwo. Ooh, that's actually a pretty cool artwork for the. I like it. And then we got Astral Radiance up next. Also, another set that has not been treating you well. You got the code card, four to the front, dark energy, you got switch cart, I'm getting ahead of myself there, Ootsy, Overquill, Teddy Ursa, Heracross, Mantine, Voltorb, Basculin, Ursaluna, and Hollow Weird Ear, Wired Ear. Second Astral Radiance. I guess I pulled some really nice stuff out of 151 and this is my payback, right? Here's a code card. Four to the front. Hopefully you guys get something cool out of the codes. Fire. Metal. Kamado. Jubilife Village. Dart Tricks. Glamiao. Puchiana, Swinub, Quillfish, oh we got something there, Petalil, Altart Obama Snow, very nice, I like it. Then we got Hisuian Typhlosion V-Star, we got a double hit, Astral Radiance finally giving me <laughs> what I wanted. And that was from a... No, that wasn't from a Typhlosion pack. Would have been cool. Speaking of Typhlosion, next is Decidueye pack. And we got a white border of death. Four to the front. Water. We got it. Silene. Cranidos, Featherball, Drifloon, Psyduck, Togepi, Magnemite, Routes, Psyduck Reverse, and Glaceon. That's it for Astral Radiance. Lost Origin. We just opened up Lost Origin in the last video. Check that out. Got some cool stuff there. Here's the code card. A little 4x4. Four four. And then 4 to the front. Fire. Dark. We got Stunfisk. Box of Disasters. Sligu. Growlithe. Ducklet. Rockruff. Seal. Zorua, Reverse Silcoon, and Delphox V. Alright, very nice. Put it over here with the others. Lost Origin, last pack. No hope with the white border. Code card. Four to the front. Grass. Water. So we got Haunter. Poliwhirl. Licky Licky. Phantom. Makuhita. Electrike. Shuppet. Murkrow. Hariyama Reverse. And Ariados. Really like the artwork there. Very cool. 
Luigi Kanda. And now we're on to Evolving Sky. Um, a lot of people's favorite set. Can it be my favorite set too? Let us find out. Whee. Come on, Pokemon Company. You keep giving me white borders. It's not gonna be cool. Metal. So you got switching cups, Tentacruel, Herdier, Lit Leo, Lotad, Teddy Ursa, Cryogonal, Nicket, Reverse Flapple, and Flapple. Nice, I guess. Evolving Skies 2. Code card. Four to the front. Water energy. He got Tentacruel. Herdier. Aroma Lady. Teddy Ursa. Mareep. Zorua, Tentacruel, Cool, Tentacool, Hopip, oh, I ruined it, Reverse Wobbuffet, and High Dragon Hollow. And the last pack, can it make up for this whole box? I hope it does. Let's see how it goes. And I just threw it right out the window. There's the code card. Four to the front. Dark. It's dark. Alright, so we got Treasure Energy, Ribbon Badge, Avalug, Tentacool, Pikachu, C Dot, Lillipup. Bagon, Ice Q, and Pinsir. <sighs> That'll do it for today's video. We didn't pull greatly out of this box set. So, uh, yeah. I, it, it was fun for me. At least I like opening packs. But... I think I'm gonna chill with the card opening for a little bit. Focus a little bit on the game, video games, you know? Because I've been kind of wanting to play some of those on the channel. Got some, like, older games ready for for gameplay. And yeah. Uh, stay tuned for that. Leave a like. So, uh, subscribe so you can be alerted for whenever I do that. Because I'm thinking of doing e either Let's Plays or Streams, and I don't know just yet which one, which format I would prefer to do. But, yeah. That's about it. So, it's been your boy Kodoki Pokemon, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.